Hey there guys and welcome back. So, talking at the end of yesterday, wasn't sure if we're going to do video games or some more design stream today. Obviously we are here with the design stream. Now that being said, I will go ahead and explain a couple things there. First off, we are on the design stream for two reasons. One, the thermistor actually came in on time for my Prusa, so I can get back to printing on the Prusa, which gives me reason to actually get this done so I can get it printed so we can get the Ender back up and running. So and that's part of the reason. The other reason is that after we signed off yesterday, one of those things not on stream, my brain finally started working and I actually got an idea of how to fix up these wings. You know, as much as I talked, I didn't particularly like how the wings look, but I came up with an idea how to fix that. So that got me a little bit more inspired to keep on going and chugging along with this. However, I will say that I did go on Steam to just get the new game downloaded that I was planning on. Oh, there's Steam. Thank you, Steam. I said Steam, and now it wants to restart itself. Excellent. Um, anyway, we uh, I hopped on Steam to download a new game to play on stream, and I saw a sale for a particular game that a friend of mine was hyper into when it first came out. Uh, like seriously favorite game of all time type of deal and I went oh actually you know what I guess we'll play that so I seriously had to give it some thought whether or not to play that game today or to get this design done I decided again since the thermistor came in today to go with this but look forward to that uh, it's going to be a pretty interesting game and I'm a bit excited just because of how hyped my friend was to play it and he kept on telling me to play it but uh, yeah, I never got onto it. So, again, a little bit of a teaser there. Look forward to it. Uh, before I fix this wing here, I do want to just double check with this big tree tech. I want to get this big tree tech lined up on the inside here, just to make sure everything looks right. I mean, just looking at it right now, it seems pretty obvious that there's not going to be a problem. But to be on the safe side, let's go ahead and get our nuts and bolts in here. Get this mounted, and get the uh, bolts holding the two halves put together. So, I guess I will go ahead and, well, first off, most importantly, activate that and we can drag that, uh, where do we want to drag that down to? So, this is something I was thinking about right before stream. Uh, the front and the back are going to be all bolted together. Uh, my initial intention was to have this mounted to the front. That way you take the back off and you're staring at it. I am honestly not 100% sure that that's the correct way to go about this at this point. I was thinking before stream, maybe I should turn this around, and that way when you open it up, eh, all right, you know what, never mind. It's one half dozen, however the saying goes, half dozen in one hand, six in the other. Uh, it doesn't make terribly much sense. My rationale for actually turning this around and mounting it on the inside of the back half was going to be that then all the wires that you're connecting, you can actually bring the motherboard closer to the wires, you know? You can take some of the strain off in case they are a little tight and by taking the back off and, you know, doing it like that. However, it, that's honestly probably not a good reason and it's probably better off that you're not holding or putting the motherboard on the desk while you're hooking the wires up it's probably best off that the motherboard is up and mounted where it's going to be while you're hooking the wires up so it was an idea again i like giving different ideas a shot but that one probably is not going to pass muster so in that case we now do have the front and the back so, 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 this just got split off. I'm going to go ahead and move this to its own component. Back panel, there we go. And I guess may as well move this to front panel now. I don't normally like moving stuff around after they've been created, but it really shouldn't be that big of a deal at the end of the day. Although I will flip flop this orientation here just so that they're in order on that. All right, so let's activate the front panel then, if that is where, that is not the front panel. Okay. 
Control Z. Control Z. And rename. Front panel. Well, let's rename that so we can get rid of this one parentheses. Back panel. Body. I tricked myself. La me from last night tricked me. Today. Excellent. Good job. Good job, me. Back panel. Okay, 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 okay. Now into the front panel. And we will go ahead and bring the big tree tech down in here. Now, no, 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 no. We do want it to sit reasonably far back. I, eh, it doesn't need to sit that far back, I guess. Yeah, you know what? We can go ahead and start out with it. If we need to move it, we will. But I think set, starting it out dead center is probably a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead. Whoops, not hit that button. Uh, I do not have a construction line yet. So let us go ahead and toss up a back of front panel construction plane. I know we were using the YZ or the XZ. Which one is this? The XZ, the XZ plane previously for splitting and mirroring everything. But at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. So this is the back of front panel, like I said. And I'm going to toss a sketch in here really quick. Project that. And I'm doing this just to help me align the big tree tech in the center is my idea here. It's probably a little bit overkill, but actually, you know what? Yeah, let's control Z really quick. I was a little concerned about this lining up correctly, the big tree tech lining up correctly, but I guess may as well try it before I give up on it. So there's the center of that. And let's turn the back panel off really quick. Yeah, all right. You know what? That is fine, although I do want a different angle. Uh, power cable should be down. There we go. Uh, the steppers are on this side, though, which is a little bit of an issue. The steppers are, should be on the other side, which actually would mean that the power cable would be up. Yeah. So in that case, maybe we do mount it to the back panel instead. Nah, I really don't like that. I really don't like the idea of mounting it to the back panel. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Alternative is to do that. Orient it back like that. That way these guys are closer and then it's just the... Uh, heaters the heaters and whatnot and the power supply that have to stretch those are bigger cables anyway so I guess I'm not super opposed to that hmm hmm yeah I guess that's where we're at right now one of those things just gonna have to live with it the only other question is we have this space, so do we want to move it down some? I don't know that that's necessary. I don't know that's necessary to move it down. So, let us go ahead and hop back in here. Uh, capture position, please. Thank you. Where's my sketch at? Fusion. Thank you. And let's get a projection on this board. Those are my mountain holes. This is going to be the mounting hole sketch. There we go. Turn some bodies off. Make all this construction lines and then we'll come back and make the other ones not construction lines. And these are three, they're 3.5. So yeah, M3s will be what we'll be using. And may as well use all the mounting holes. And we'll give them three millimeter pegs to sit off on. Standoffs. Uh, derp, derp, derp. There we go. Oh, I don't even have the other ones. In. Definitely derp. Definitely derp. Mm. 
the uh, I talked about having the thermistor fixed on the Prusid so that we can get stuff printed and get the enter more specifically back up and running. However, the other thing I need to do is get the Dremel press up and uh, up and fixed as well. Again, that needed a modification that I overlooked. I had not actually worked on that over the past couple of days because I got distracted with other stuff, which isn't a great excuse, but you know. So, in theory, interesting, interesting, interesting. In theory, that needs to get done, but I actually don't have the design fixed on that one. So, ergo, ergo, that does need to happen at some point. I put about an hour into it today before, eh, maybe that was an hour. I guess that was more like half an hour today before stream. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to change this. Um, yeah, for this mount. I just realized probably actually for maybe all this now nah, we can do capture nuts on the other thing yeah we can do capture nuts everywhere it's just a little awkward on the inside but okay I need to account for capture nuts I just realized so uh, did get some work done on it today however it is not particularly close to being done despite the half an hour I put into it because the changes are rather serious uh, this is printing upside down, so it does not necessarily matter which direction the capture nut goes in. Correct. Uh, however, let's see. The it is going to be a bit awkward. Yeah, the capture nuts are going to be a bit awkward the way this is printing. It would be better off instead of doing capture nuts to do the uh what do you call them uh these things what the heck are these things called again inserts the uh threaded inserts it would make more sense to do the threaded inserts however my previous experience with threaded inserts well i mean it's one of those things i eventually got somewhat of the hang of it but they are annoying and i much prefer to do capture nuts because they are significantly simpler it's just the way this is printing straight up and down. So we are printing towards the background right now, away from us. So let me tilt this like this, whoops, like that rather. We will be printing in this orientation directly into the captured nuts, which is not great. I guess we're not doing much else in this inside here so I could just make this extra thick to make up for it just to make myself feel better about it the if I do make it extra thick probably should move the board down a little bit so let's go ahead and get that done really quick hop up here turn that back on go back into the alignment click the down button Select, uh, let me make sure I'm selecting the actual SKR just in case. Translate and we'll see what 10 looks like. There's 10. Eh, 10's probably alright. Click the finish button and go back to our sketch. Alright. So. Let's see, 5.45, 5.45, toss a bunch of these in here. The orientation does not necessarily matter because we're printing directly into them. However, it's one of those things, may as well keep it the same across all of them. So here comes some parallels.
Hopefully the Dremel Press works out just because I'm not completely thrilled with the change I had to make. And it does potentially uh, reduce rigidity in the Dremel Press. So again, not great. But so long as it works out then, who really cares? All right, we're gonna go four, just to make sure we are got enough meat around these things. And then we need a slot to get them in here. I will do a slot instead of trying to loft this up because that is a bit silly in the way we have it right now. Um, the other thing I was doing right now that I just stopped is, I wasn't sure if it made sense to go straight up with all of them, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it's fine. I don't see any reason off the top of my head that it shouldn't be. And you, let's make sure that you are solid. There we go. And what about you? Okay, you got a random line in there. That's not great. There we go, everything else looks good. Cool, 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 cool. So we hit the finish button and pop that back open and see how that's looking. Okay, all of them actually are connecting now and they're not poking out the front, which is good. So now we can come back in and extract those captured nuts. One. Two, three, four, and five. We will offset minus three, minus three, please. Thank you. And the nuts are two, I'll call it minus three, just to be on the safe side because it doesn't necessarily matter if we take up extra space. There's that sketch done get these named align btt standoffs mobo standoffs name mobo capture nuts okay and some offsets on those guys printing offsets New please, new offset. Don't have to do the faces because again we did those extra sized, extra large sized. Just need to get the sides. Wait, did I just select two sides on there? On that guy? Why are there two sides on that guy? That don't make no sense. Hmm. We will have to investigate. I think I know why, but... We'll see what happens. And minus point one. Point one fine. Point two. Do you want to go point two? Just be safe. Nah, let's go point one. Okay. Third. Mobo captured nut offsets. And I believe we have two walls there because this guy ended up connected here. This was the guy, right? It's not this guy. Hmm, actually does look correct, so I am not sure at this point why that one has two walls. I was thinking it was because it was so close to this. Yeah, actually that does connect to there. So this guy is... That would be why. That guy. And... Okay, that is correct, so we just make this parallela. are 
correct, yes. Five times four is 20. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, let us toss this guy back on and get in section analysis uh, there. Minus one and flip. Okay. I just want to check, click this. Okay, this is what I was checking. So these standoffs, a couple of them are a little big. So I'll go ahead and move these back to three, I guess. The alternative is to just shrink the very points of them, but the very points of them are close enough to the nuts anyway that we effectively have the same problem. So we just end up making that smaller. And now that this is back to four, these guys are not, the guys in the middle are not working again. So we'll deselect, deselect. Uh, okay, it's actually just this one now, I take it back. So just this one guy needs to be deselected and we will toss him back in on the next sketch, or I mean on the next extrusion rather. Distance, two object, there. Okay, control Z, that was not correct. Uh, bu 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 Make sure we are in front panel. We backed out of front panel because we had to change the alignment and I forgot to reselect the panel, which is why that happened. Join. Okay. Okay, good. That looks to be part of it. I don't know why I didn't default to join on that one, but it should be fine. All right, all right, all right, all right. So now we should be good. We'll go ahead and take that. Double check the section analysis again, just to be on the safe side. One, or I guess minus one. And flip, okay. So let's see, let's see. Uh, we are a bit close here, I guess. How about in the corner? Yeah, corner's still overlapping. Hmm. <laughs> Don't particularly want to go that much smaller. Uh, rather, I will go smaller rather than attempt to hack into that face directly. So long as this solves my problem, and it's one of those things I actually can look right here, right, and see where that is. So I could have just been doing this from the beginning, just turning this on. All right, that should work, I think. And that was the one that was most overlapped, this guy on the bottom over here should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Finish. All right, so a little bit smaller than I wanted, it, but that's cool, that's cool. Let's see. So that's that. I... I don't think I wanna, I... Mm. I'm thinking I'm just going to basically tack in the pixels, the NeoPixels, the LEDs. I don't think I'm going to actually do holders for those. So, at this point, the only things we need are holes in the back for wires and, 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 and mounting holes to attach to the front to the back. And then we can move on to the legs. Oh, and I gotta do the fins. And I gotta fix the fins. So, I think I will fix the fins after, so I'm gonna do the 
holes to hold everything together and then I'm going to fix the fins and then we'll do the holes for the wires to come out and then we'll do the legs. That is the game plan. Ugh. So. So, 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 so. Probably just four bolts, I'm thinking. Do a diamond shaped right here. I think that's probably fine. Project, project, there we go. Do, 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 I'm gonna turn the bodies off. Instead of you doing that, let's just have you be perpendicular. I mean, for uh, vertical, vertical is what I meant to say. Not entirely sure how this is parallel. Oh, it's parallel to the one below it. Okay, gotcha. I was gonna say it looked like it was parallel to the vertical one. And if I do this, does that constrain me? It does. Excellent. That is exactly what I wanted. There we go. And toss in some stuffs. Toss in some stuffs. Make some stuffs centered. That is not the correct center. That was not what I was looking for. That to that is what I was looking for. And that to that. And then. I was going to do the outside circle first, but I guess now that it stopped me, I will go ahead and do the hex first. Doesn't necessarily matter. Uh, hmm. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. I was thinking it, me doing this probably be faster to do a circle pattern, however, because we were going to face there's some potential that the circle pattern does not work because we're going towards the face of the inside. So because that is a possibility, excuse me, thank you. Because that's a possibility, I am not going to bother. And we'll just do it manually. Then this guy here, and then that guy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. These can be the full three. In theory, there we go. Because we don't have to avoid anything as far as I'm aware. Uh, yeah, that is correct. This guy is the one I want. There we go. And now, uh, one more. These guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now we do a whole bunch of equals. Hmm, computer running awfully slow today. I wonder, so I have another version, well, not another version, but I am running Fusion on my other user account because I was just working on the Dremel Press. So that's one thing. But I feel like that shouldn't be enough by itself to be cause me to lag up like this. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, not that one. Derp, 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 derp. Go equals bam bam and bam and now how do we position these I'm thinking maybe just inset it by a number a arbitrary number from the edge and tangent I think that might be how we're going to do this. 
I could also, because this is a sphere, I could equal these two lines, these crossing lines, and that would line these guys on the horizontal up. But I am going to opt not to do that. I'm just going to add another constraint there, and we are good. Uh, not good. I take it back. Not good. We need our insert areas for it. Oh, is that a double line right there? No. Okay, it's not. Why? Forward, please. Thank you. That's a double line. Good bunch of men. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. And I think that is good. And we are on paint. Get off the paint. Do not want paint. Do not want paint. Darn it, stop it. Go. Uh, this may not work now that I'm thinking more about it, but we'll see what happens. Because we're close enough to the edge that we may not have space to fit the capture nut in behind it. But, like I said, we'll see what happens. See how much space we actually have. Okay, yeah, we've got plenty of space. Not close enough to the edge. Uh, in that case... Mm, hmm. Nah, you know what? I'm not going to. Because we've got to countersink the bolts on the other side, or I want to countersink the bolts, rather, on the other side. Otherwise, we could... Huh. That is overlapping right there, which is not great. Okay, I, for that reason, because that's overlapping right there, I will delete that, make that equal to that, and then, oh, that was at 3.6 for some reason, because Fusion is acting strain right now, so at 3 do we dodge it? We do not, okay. So, 2. Finish. Uh, it's just barely. So I'm going to see what happens with the cat on our sinks on the back side and then go from there, make my decision from there. So over to the back panel. Uh, never mind. This is supposed to be a join. Join. There we go. This is connection. Holes. The name connection holes. Just double checking the front really quick that there's nothing too terrible. Okay. And now for those capture nuts. One, two, three. And we have three because I did not turn those centering lines into construction lines like they should be. Correct, I think so. And just like the other one, offset three, uh, minus three, distance minus three, and that is a cut which is correct. Oh my goodness. Stop. Stop.
we have too many faces right now. Okay, that is why. And I should have one more face over here. There we go. Minus point 0.1. We can do these. And now over to the back panel to countersink. Project out this sketch. And body and body. Grab my M3 holes. And then we just got to throw 5.5 circles around them. And some meat. Five. Turn that sketch back off. Whoops. There we go. Do 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 do. And some meat. Huh, this is weird. Why does Fusion keep on doing this to me? I keep on... Yeah, I guess it's the lag. I guess it's the lag because I'm typing in the dimensions and it's not registering. So, only thing I think is for it to be the lag. Yeah, this this came up as join automatically. I'd love to know why the other one doesn't. We've got some fins in here, which is kind of funny because I thought we moved the I guess maybe we didn't well I mean it would explain it why we, that we didn't rather What are you extruding? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Alright, so you're extruding that. Um basically need to This should be yeah, that's that stuff. I wonder if I grab all this, if that would then let me drag it. No? No. Okay. Hmm. I guess the only thing left to do come here or not here there I guess either one works somewhere somewhere around here all right come here and redo that shelling operation pseudo shelling operation let's see where did we put that Oh, 
right here. There it is. Cut, and let's see what happens. Okay. That happens. Um, mom, 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 mom. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So. We delete these two guys. And redo them. Uh, let me hit Control Z. Just to make sure I know what I'm doing here. This guy is off the sketch. The vi visor correction sketch. Yeah, it likes killing me today. I think I might pause a hot second, switch users, and shut down fusion on the other side. I don't know what that's going to do to you guys on stream, but kind of needs to happen. That's the back side, so it's front side, then back side. Delete these two, uh, deselect, okay, never mind, that's just Fusion being silly with the UI. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right, that's right. This is a cut operation here. That is why. A little confused for a second there. Distance all symmetric, if I recall correctly. Oh, let me actually get into the body. And you know what? This is taking long enough that we are now going to pause. Again, this is my first time doing this on stream, switching to my other user. So, we'll see what happens. And actually, 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 uh, what can I, oh, here we go. I'm going to switch you guys over to this screen, back to I don't have an BRB screen just yet. So, you guys are going to stare at my face for half a second. I do not have BRB set up on this page though. So let's get that fixed. BRB. Outline one pixel. Okay. Get you centered. Ah, eh, you know what? It shouldn't really be centered. Alright, anyway, like I said, I will be back a second and we'll see what exactly happens with the stream when I switch users. So, BRB. Alright, and I am back. So, I do not have audio though. Did my music just plain stop? Alright, and I am back. Okay, it looks like my music so, did just stop. I do not have audio though. Did my music just plain stop? I'm double checking really quick. Okay, it looks like my music did just stop. 
Alright, uh, on my preview window for stream, I don't think I... It's really hard for me to hear the background normally anyway, so... Uh, I guess that is just it. And the funny thing is, Fusion... So I closed Fusion on the other one, which entailed me uh, suspending this Fusion session. But when I got back over to this user, it did not have the session suspended pop up over here. Which is weird. So at this point, I am going to do the responsible thing and hit the save button. Okay. It's saving. It's saving. Alright. Now, I just realized that the Big Tree Tech board is visible, which could be part of the reason why I'm a bit laggy. So maybe I didn't actually need to switch users like that. It's a possibility. Um, I think it was both of these profiles were cut last time. Symmetric, all. Yeah, maybe it's just the amount of crap I have on this model. It's a possibility. Is that correct? I actually don't know that that's correct. Let me turn off the Big Tweet Tech SKR Mini E3 version 2. And hopefully that fix, fixes some of the lag problems then in that case. And let me see what this looks like if I just do that. Okay, that looks more like I remember it. So, it was probably not the other one as well. Now we need to extrude this. And do we also need to extrude this? I do not remember. Distance, two sided, or not two sided, symmetric. All join. How did that get fixed? Was it with that? I think it was with that. I don't recall that when I. Eh. Meh. I don't actually recall that when I deleted the other one, but I didn't delete anything else. So, that suggests that that is how that was. Excellent. Now we are back to where we were. And on the inside, let's hop towards the end. On the inside, everything broke. Of course it did. So, this is a join operation, and it looks like it's going to work correctly, so I'm kind of curious. No, okay, that one's still broken. Okay. That one. Uh, nope. Incorrect. Get out of my way, back panel. All right, cool. So that appears to be fixed. Now back here. Okay, 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 okay. So now we don't have the wings anymore, which is to be expected. And this just should need to be clicked right quick to fix itself. Turn the front panel off. Let's get these, uh, which call it's in here. Capture nuts in here. Or not capture nuts. This is the countersunk. These are the countersinks. Uh, connection holes. Rename connection holes. There we go. There we go. And now extrude that. 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 And that. Now the interesting thing here is with this lag, I'm actually not entirely sure what's causing it. Because I 
I've had basically everything running that's running right now before, so it does not like this selection right here, so we are going to grab a different arbitrary point. Let's see, let's see. There we go. Doesn't mind that one. And that should be clear of everything. I'm pretty sure it looks like it. Okay. And off we're going. Alright, now to do the upgrade on the wings that I was teasing before and that may cause some problems with all this but you know it happens so what I realized after we after I got off stream yesterday is that let's see the wings are down here is that it doesn't have to actually be circular we actually don't need this sphere which means that we can do a much larger wing set is what that comes down to and make it a bit more interesting so there is the wing front wing back and we got rid of the middle wing so i will just start from the wing front Turn the body, nope, don't turn the body off. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How do I want to refine this? Yeah, actually, I'm going to go ahead and delete this, I think, is what I'm gonna do. And that will cause problems downstream, but we will come back and fix this. I'm thinking of actually starting, instead of from this plane right here, this weapon uh, wing depth paint plane. Or actually, wing depth plane, I believe, is the back one. Unless I am mistaken. Where are you at? Hmm... No, that is probably what I'm thinking of. So instead of doing that one, I was thinking of doing just the, this guy. Starting from here, take this intersection, and then doing the wings here. Starting the wings here and making them bigger. So, Let's see, and I was going to do the whole entire way across. And... <laughs> Just trying to figure out what the best way of going about this is in the long run. Because I'm changing the whole entire shape of the sphere. I think I'm going to end up doing, it's going to be a little bit weird, but it might be an intersection and then a join afterwards. So create new body, intersection, join. I think that's correct. I think that's how that's going to end up, which is a little funky, but you know, whatever. So... How do I want it to look? So, my original idea, I'll turn on 3D sketch really quick, just to get it sketched out. So my idea was, actually, we've got our sphere here, 
got a steer here. And I was thinking about having it look originally, pretend like this is connected right here. Originally something like this. Just more, uh, you know, that's the side profile view. I was thinking about doing something like that. But I'm wondering whether or not I don't want to actually back up and go back to that depth one. So I'm starting from here and doing the same kind of thing. Yeah, you know what? I think that was the better idea. So control Z back and then we will grab the wing depth and go from there. Okay. Let's see, body, body, bodies. And this can be that construction line. And now we draw some wing. Oh, turn 3D sketch back off. So yesterday we had wings like this, but now that I'm doing the whole entire back, I think I'm actually going to make a double wing style here. And I normally don't do, uh, what do you call it? So I normally don't do mirrors on sketches because they get a little sketchy sometimes. But for our purposes, uh, here's the other question. The other question is, do I include the round part. I don't think I do. For our purposes, it will be easier to do the loft all at once than to come back and mirror everything. I believe. I believe that is correct. So, let's see. 60. 60, I'll try that again. Uh, 140, 135. Uh, Just trying to get some constraints in here. Actually, I don't want that constraint. And then, is this my last one to get it locked down? Nope, it is not. So this guy right here, is this my last point that can be? Yeah, that's my last point that can be constrained, it looks like. Let us toss this in. That's going to be perpendicular to that for arbitrary reasons, and that is going to be midpointed to that for arbitrary reasons. There we go. Now, I just need to complete the profile. That is weird. Okay, no, that is 90 degrees. For some reason, that didn't look straight to me. I was not sure why. All right, there we go. So there is that. Now the, which one are you on? Uh, that's the front loft. This is the new front loft. So I'm gonna delete this. Yeah, I know it's gonna break. And we do not actually use the middle loft at this point, right? Uh, maybe we were using the loft, and I just forgot. Regardless, we are going to delete that. And now on this one, we will delete all that. Project all the uh, not that though, all this. And give it an offset, I guess. Let's 
start small and see where we end up. And I'm really regretting not... Actually, you know what? That's the faster way to do it. Because I can double click that one. There we go. And let us now do this loft. Okay, 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 okay. Um, mum, 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 mum. Let's see. Center plane? Center plane? Mid plane? Intersect that body. Thank you. Um, bu bu let's see, how do I want to do this? Uh, let's see what happens if I just do that. Okay. Let's put that, that, and that. Actually, um, <laughs> I'm going to hit join right quick and see what happens. Give it a look. I'm pretty sure this needs to be cut right here. The problem is merging in the rest of this the other problem could just be that this is not far enough back at this point distance what are you off of the, to begin with are you off the mid plane no you are not off the mid plane let's go you off the mid plane and then body size divided by 2 plus 10 do that instead all right there we go that is a bit better I think what I want to do here is this, that, 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 and five. Uh, does fusion like that? Fusion does not like that. How about three? Can't really go less than three, so let's deselect some stuff and see what happens. Deselect, deselect. Deselect. Huh, really? Hmm. Okay, uh, this is going to be new body now. New body. I'm going to shell this now. See if it accepts it now. Minus three? Really? You won't even take one, huh? All right, there we go. There's one, three. Okay, there we go. Uh, but let's try five like I was trying to do before. All right, there's five. This is not quite going to work out the way I really want to do it, but... Um, hmm, nah, we're going to back up, change that back to a join, and, or maybe not back to a join, 
No, 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 no. Let's do this. Draft. That was not draft. I do want to bring this out a little bit is what I want to do right now. I cannot repair body. Flip. Nope. Faces that guy. Full direction. Hmm. Can't select anything other than that guy because that's the only flat guy. Unless I come all the way up here, huh? Okay. Ah, we can't go backwards though. All right. So we're back to the issue we had last night with getting this looking interesting. Control. Which is tossing in another plane and just cutting it. As soon as fusion catches up. Wait. And hopefully it does not send an error report. I was kind of hoping to get done the legs today, but with all this lag and crashing and crap, it's looking significantly less likely. Do, 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 do. Where's my three points? There's my plane through three points. I want to try this really quick. Mm, maybe not that one. Maybe that one. Yeah, let's try that. And I am joined, right? Just the one body? Yes. So that's what I was thinking about. I was thinking about split that on that. And hit OK. Remove. And let's see how this looks on the... Oh, whoops. Uh, wrong one. Remove. How would I want to adjust this is the only question if I did. Question, does it really look that ridiculous if I fill that gap in? If I fill that gap in, does it look that ridiculous? Yeah, it does kind of feel like a bit of an angle. So let's hit Control Z a couple times. And let's change that angle. I'll go plane at angle here. And we'll try. Eh, I guess the only problem here is that that's not going to. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Again, this has been a very creative design couple of streams because we're not actually trying to solve a problem. We're just kind of creating stuff, uh, not split face, split body. Okay. Let's remove that one. And if I do this to fix that, distance to object that, uh, these are a little derpy looking, but I guess that's not terrible. And then 
What if I delete this revolt here? What does that break exactly? I do not see what that breaks. What's your problem? Rule warning. Compute. Where's my compute? Turn the body off. Oh, this. That guy? Delete. Okay. And this lock is. This look. Huh. What happened? Why did... Do, do, do. Like, this is... Why did... Huh? Huh? Why aren't you grabbing this guy anymore? Oh, I guess because that got the hole in it now. I guess that's why. Wait, did that go back to being not a join? Join? Huh. Why you no join? Why? Why you no join? Body? Join. Huh. That was interesting. Alright, now, back to this. And that 85 degrees is now in the opposite direction. 85. Split. Remove. And now this guy is working as expected now. guys because these are the old fins delete and that guy is also the old fin and there is huh that is a problem <laughs> uh, let's see that makes sense because we actually cut backwards into the body so I guess before this we will create a projection of that that we we can extrude it back in and I think I'm going to do that because my guess is is that's what we're, we need right now so three Join, okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, rename this. This is this is middle actually. Shell correction. Turn that off. And. Okay, that's correct. Wing draft. Wing draft removal. Wing 
draft extension. Shelling. All right, that's just shell. And shell correction. And I think we are good. I think that's everything that needed to be named. Oh, nope. This is wing draft. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. So that's where we're at now. The only other thing we could do is if we wanted to play with this a little bit. Yeah, I kind of like that better. That's, that's a bit interesting. I do like the bulbous look. <laughs> and that just plain does not work. Okay. All right, cancel. We'll stick with this. Okay, 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 okay. And we're going to hit the move to the end button and cross our fingers that nothing else broke, but that's not going to be the case. Everything is going to have broken. So, prepare to fix stuff. Yerp. Yerp, 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 yerp. All right, roll here and start fixing. Um, that's my wing, draft, 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 what's this? What's this? Wing, that, oh, I know what that is. That is my extrusion. And that is too many profiles. There we go. Symmetric all join. Uh, this should not be selected right here. Please let me deselect it. And I need to extend that. Oh, that line was going up before. Okay. That line that I corrected, <laughs> I incorrectly corrected. So this should not actually be here. This. Oh, Ctrl Z. That is not the correct thing to delete. That one. That guy was actually up to here. There we go. Finish. And now fix this guy. So deselect that. Let me turn this body off, see if that makes it easier. Does not make it easier. Okay. There. There. Turn the body back on. Huh. We deleted everything. Okay. Deselect that. Okay. Having fun, guys. Let me tell you, having fun. Alright. We good. We groovy. We rocking. Okay. Okay, okay. What is this? What is this? Why is this here? That is down there, or not there, uh, visor correction. Is this not a profile right here anymore? Control Z. Okay, that right there. Please. Thank you, join. Okay, okay, okay. Should be good now. <laughs> what is this? Um, 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 um. Front panel, back panel. Front panel. Back panel. Front panel. Split, back panel, front panel. Okay, that became the front panel. That is accurate, uh, although your name is incorrect. <laughs> okay, back panel. Missing body, that guy, okay. 
Are you still named back panel? You are. Excellent. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, back to front panel. Let us turn the body on. These are those guys. None of this really should have changed. All the sketches should be correct. We hit OK. OK. I'm not going to triple say OK again. Because I realized I did that quite a few times. Over the past few minutes. Because I'm fixing stuff. And I tend to do that when I'm fixing stuff. Uh, you appear to be a managed loss profile. Click. Click. And that was not that one. Uh, cancel, cancel, cancel. Get out of here, back panel. Right click. Can I please right click fusion? Uh, fusion, you're killing me. Manage. Base. Right click. Okay. Okay. And you guys are busy doing silly things. So the funny thing is that I can see this yellow right here, but it's not giving me any more warnings. So we are going to delete that. Attempt to delete that. We can't. And I can't drag click all the Quinky Dinks. You out of here, please. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we're going to delete that. Delete that. These guys are the issue. These guys ended up on arbitrary point down here. Okay. We should be able to fix that. Short profile line. Delete that. Short profile line. Delete that. And then come back up here. And... What are you doing? Holy smokers. Okay. Fusion. Stop being drunk. Fusion. Just let me drop this line right here. Thank you. And now I can center these guys back up like they were before. Uh, midpoint. Why? Why? Fusion, I do not understand. I did not click that. I clicked the edge of the circle. Why would you do this to me, Fusion? Yeah, and I didn't click that line either. I clicked the edge of the circle, Fusion. I have video evidence. Okay, there we go. That, that, now, these guys. I will turn them to construction lines this time. Oh goodness, okay. Uh, you are cool in here with that. <laughs> Good job. Good job. What are you stuck on? Oh, I know what you're stuck on. We'll untangent that because that is totally not tangent to the correct place. There we go. Alright, 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 alright. There we 
go. And you are also going to need to be untangented because, again, somehow you ended up tangent down here. Don't know how you managed that one, but good job. Little line. Mid planed on there. And collinead. And now. Uh, you guys are actually backwards, but I'll complain about that later. Uh, shoot. Everything is not construction line. There we go. So come back down here and it's that one. These guys, these guys, that guy. That should be good. Are you guys at an angle? You are at an angle. Okay. Uh, please go parallel to that. Okay. Does anybody else have issues? I don't think so. So, we can get back to tangenting. That guy there. And this guy here. Okay. I think we are good. I I think everything is kosher. Okay, they're both construction lines. Hit the finish button, hit the next button, and see how much is broken. I believe that is correct. So the only thing that is missing is going back to the face. the body back on just so that we are ooh okay that is not correct that is not correct back to these guys were flip flops so let me uh, delete that drag you up drag you up further and do that get you back to how you were because I couldn't actually get the capture nut in there the way you were all right, now the capture nut is there and there, there and there. All right, we're good. Okay, that is first set of problems fixed. Let's go to the back side now. And the back side appears to have less wrong, but that may be deceiving. Let's see what happens. No, actually, it looks correct. Okay, cool. So it's just the countersinks. from here does not like that selection so like last time we'll go to the furthest point which I believe should be that and hit OK alright 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 and now something I did not do last time but let's get a little bit of offset on here to help us so that we're not rubbing the bolts against the inside as we drive them in. Connection, hole, counter, sink, offset. Okay. Good deal. All right, all right, all right, all right. I like the look of that better than the previous wings. We have this so it all pieces together. The front panel has a mounting for the SKR. Now we do holes for wires to come out. Uh, let's see. I think. So the holes should really come out of the front face for the reason that we are going to be removing the back face. So if we remove the back face right here using these holes, right? and the wires are coming through it then it's kind of stuck on the wires and we got to feed the wires through before we attach it which is cumbersome so for that reason we will come back to the front face and drop those holes in and i'm thinking may not need to be too fancy with it uh i'd really prefer honestly i really would prefer for the holes to be in the back unfortunately however or further back I should say 
because we'll see the wires coming out of here. I guess that we can position the legs to try to hide them a little bit. I don't know about routing them through the legs. That's the other option. We could put the holes right in where the legs are and then route them through the legs. That's an idea. At the very least, actually, we could put the legs in and then put channels in the back of the legs where nobody's going to see it to route them in. That way you don't notice the holes as much. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. So maybe we do legs next time. Uh, in that case, all the legs... Well, no, I guess we'd only be routing through. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, really quick while I'm thinking about this, while we are debating what to do, I'm going to just toss this rigid group on here. That and that. No children. Yes, yes, yes. No children. Okay. And we can go ahead and toss in as built. Yeah, that's right, I moved it to the front. So, turn this on. Go here and here. And slider. Actually. And I don't know. I'm going to actually come back to the origin, I think, and just use the origin as my reference line. Okay, I can't actually do that. I wasn't sure if I could. I've never tried that before. It's just that I do not have... Whoops, that is not the button I wanted to click. I don't have a particularly good reference point for the slider. Uh, that works. Okay. I did not realize you could just take the arbitrary point in the back plane. Okay. I'm happy with that. So yeah, now we can demonstrate. Slide the back off. Cool. Okay, so back to the problem at hand. Let's stop avoiding the problem and get to legs, I guess. Yeah, this is a big boy. I wanted lots of space on the inside for wire routing is what's going on here. I wanted to make sure that because I've obviously had the other the opposite experience where the wires were very hard to deal with. So I wanted plenty of space in there for the wires. Oh, actually. Hmm. Uh, fan, 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 fan. Uh, let's hop back in here to back. And I guess the fan is going on the back, which makes sense. Like, that's not a bad place for it. I don't hate that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. No fans in here. Uh, so we are going back to... Where would that be? Where did I get that from? I think it's in downloaded. Downloaded assets. Fan, 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 fan. Not the Noctura. Okay, uh, I guess we'll just come back here into the Ender 3 and grab the Ender 3 fan. Not unreasonable. That's the cold section fan. Okay, case fan, there we go. Insert. Proceed. Uh, you can hang out right there because I will simply move you right now. Align. Let's see, which is the front side? Alright, I think that is therefore supposed to go here. And undo that. And undo that. Grab the center and go center. There we go. Uh, our board is technically a little bit lower than center. Mm. Our board is technically lower than center. Mm. Okay, fine. We will change that. We will change that. Align. Turn the back panel off right quick. Center it on the board. Let's 
center it on the board and then we will drag it back to the body. Just like this, rather than using the centering tools, just drop it right back and then we can cap the position. I wanted it to be, hmm. Yeah, this is fine. We, we can do that. We can do that. So what I will do is, do, 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 where is my construction plane? Construction plane. Where did I put, oh, it ended up in here. The wing draft plane ended up in here. Okay. Um, let's see. Actually, I won't. I won't do it with the wing draft plane. Let's, oh, I guess that makes sense. Okay. The wing draft plane ended up in there because we had not actually split the bodies yet. That would explain that one. Okay. I'm going to toss this on here and take that. Oh, the countersink holes are on the opposite side. Do I really care? Does it really matter? Does anything in life really matter? Probably not. Uh, this is the blunt side, right? Uh, I'll turn around. It makes my life easier. Where are you? Okay. Uh, let's see. In that case, I guess we go. Um, here, here to here, and then hit the flip button. Nah, that doesn't work. Okay, so go here to. Panel, body, SKR, here to here. Hit the flip button. And then do what we did before. Which was just grab not the center and not the center and hit OK. Okay, okay, okay. Turn these guys back on, turn that off, or not that off, that off. And now, come back to back panel. Oh, finish position. Come back to back panel. Back of fan. And we will make a little alcove is what I'm where I'm going with this. So project out that uh, we don't really need. Uh, yeah, we don't really need that. We just really need the back of the pan. Turn that stuff off. Make that construction lines. Make that not construction lines. Toss in some hexes. Captured nuts. Captured bees. And again, this is the orientation that this print will be printing in, so it does not matter what orientation these nuts are in. 5.45, as always, equals walls equals and these are all inside of the fan so that means that we do not have a problem because I am about to do a rectangle around the fan parallel to that and actually centered on that hmm. So my problem is, and this is how my sketches keep on getting screwed up, is that's technically the sketch center. Actually, let me try not to do it on the sketch center. Sketch point, sketch point. I think that sketch point is safer, I believe. 
and then the fan is square so we can just make this square and then we can provide an offset around that there we go and what is your guys problem oh you do not actually have a reference as I stated before so you can be parallel to that okay there we go so uh, anything else I need I guess we'll I wasn't sure how which way I wanted to go with this but I guess I will go ahead and create a new one I wasn't sure whether or not I was gonna go like this and cut a uh, cut the actual profile of the fan out or if I was going to put another square in I am deciding at this point to put another square in so there there just in case make it a square instead and nothing should go wrong in theory okay 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 so this is I can't rename it right now there we go uh, fan port and we will go ahead and add this to the body so this guy uh, we can do all of this honestly we can do everything and then we'll just cut out anyway so to the back of the fan this oh no we are on the back of the fan already uh, so plus three I was gonna say back of the plan plus three but we are already there so uh, let's see it doesn't actually need to be plus three and we need to countersink these nuts so I'm gonna go with two instead and then we'll countersink the nuts ah uh, you know what just because I don't like like seeing that body there finish we will do the uh, enclosure for the fan first this needs two objects there okay just that I get that join in there just a personal preference. This wouldn't have actually caused any real problem. I just don't like seeing the body seven in the uh, directory list. So this is going to be two as we discussed before. And then we can go ahead and do that, that without the hexes for another two. So they are going from object there and okay and now no 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 now now we go back in and delete everything ah you know what this actually is faster like this select everything and then oh no I do want these guys I don't want the outside though there we go body distance all Liparuski. There we go. Cut. All right, and now we can go ahead and drop the case fan in there. Rigid group that up. No children. Eh? Okay. And turn that off. And recess, fan recess back, fan recess, uh, fan bolt counter sinks, fan recess, uh, b -b 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 yeah, I guess clearance. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, derp. Derp, 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 derp. <laughs> it's in, uh, as you can see, it is not a hole. Whoopsies. All right. Uh, turn the body off so I can see what I'm working with here. Turn the fan off so I can see what I'm working with here. And we toss this circle in here. Tangent it to that guy. And we are good. Just have to adjust our selections. So, this guy doesn't want that okay this guy the next guy doesn't want that as well okay 
And this guy doesn't want that. Okay. And there we go. All right. All right. All right. All right. Now. Now we are good. Now we are kosher. All right. Great. Excellent. All right. Now on the legs. Um. Hmm. Okay. Maybe not onto the legs. Ah. Uh, crap. I really wanted to be done this in two sessions. Uh, all right. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think. Um. See. I didn't want to go over two hours here. I don't think we're gonna have the legs done in two hours. Ergo. It would be quitting time now since we're about to do legs, and I wanted to do legs before we did the uh, holes for the electronics. Because again, if we can route the electronics through the legs, that would be more ideal. One thing that's really annoying right now is that I kind of do want to make this a bit smaller. What did I start out with? Uh, my problem here, actually, I'm realizing, which is why I want to make it a bit smaller, is if I started out at 8 inches, which I very well may have, let's see, change parameters, body size, 200, calculator, calculator, well, no, actually 200. 200 is under 220. Uh, wait, is under 20, 210 or 220? Then or might be 210, so that's really close to 220. Uh, my problem is, is once I put these wings on here, then we are probably over. So, let us, uh, let me open up the Prusa Slicer, and let's take a quick look, because again, as I was just saying there, where's Prusa Slicer, Prusa Slicer, there we go. As I was just saying there, the... body may not fit which would be a little bit of an issue which is why I may need to shrink this down let's see um, click 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 desktop motherboard case bring you in loading of model failed why Trying again. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, cancel, cancel, cancel. I know why. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Oh, this is bad. Oh, 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 oh. I, uh, I saved mesh on the top level, not on the mech. Uh, which means that I just saved the literal entire ender and uh Escara mini <laughs> as the print file whoops all right let's let's try this again yes replace it and uh we are going to hit the delete all button and and then and, and, and try reloading that again no and no there we go um, why is front panel one open edge? Huh. I wonder where the open edge was. My guess is it back to, it was under here is where my guess was. It didn't really give me an opportunity. I just clicked on it. It didn't really give me an opportunity to see where the open edge was. All right. Let us get you out of the way so I can position this guy right quick. Oh, there's the fan. Okay, that is laying down now. Okay, it uh, it fits on my Prusa. <laughs> I don't know if that fits on my under... That does not fit on the Prusa. Prusa, that's overhanging. Alright, I'm going to hit the slice button. And you're going to tell me that you can't slice it. You can slice it. Isn't that overhanging... Doesn't that look like that's overhanging the front of the bed? Alright, so it's technically, it's technically, yes. Technically, it's 
not overhanging the uh, primer line. So technically, sure, technically it can do it because the Prusa bed is technically, 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 I've said technically too many times now. Um, the Prusa bed is minus, uh, bounding box is four millimeters in front of the front line here. So I guess that's why, because as you can see, it is still above that four millimeter mark where it does the priming line. Okay, well, it fits. Um, I've got 12 and, well, let's say 12 hours, 40 minutes, and $7. And pretty expensive, yeah. <laughs> and again, did not actually need to be this big. So, um, I will consider, I will consider, uh, if we hop back to Fujione. Let me close the side panel. We don't need that anymore. Uh, that right there is kind of silly, right? The size difference. The uh, Big Tree Tech SKR Mini back panel turn off has plenty of space. It could be a bit tighter. So I think off stream, I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down by two inches. Bring it down to about six inches overall. Uh, let me actually just really quick for the sake of visualizing, see right now how well it's gonna work out. Where's my what XZ? There we go. Project the outer ring so I can get centered here. Six inches there. Um, okay, yeah. So this visor is going to come down in theory. The visor would come down and be closer to the SKR. The SKR could shrink down a little bit, could drop down a little bit. That wouldn't be that big of a deal. We are losing space. Base. If I go to 3D sketch and draw in another circle, let me use that as a reference. And can I select that plane? Yes, I can. Six inches. All right, so there's that direction. So it does have plenty of space kind of in this way. And one of these things, I have it sitting right on the center line. We could drop it back a little bit more to give it more space for the wiring to come out, which we should do one way or another, honestly, because the wiring otherwise is going to have to loop and then come back down because, again, we're planning on putting it through the front face. So it actually should drop back to begin with. All right, I'm going to make those changes, and we'll see how that looks. Uh, just visually on inspection, the only thing would be it is a little tight over here on the power input. Just a little tight. Uh, this circle right here does get smaller when we back it up, obviously, because we head towards the front of the sphere. So it will be tighter than it looks right now. So let us change some numbers then to 7 inches. And you can just be that. So seven inches, if I back this up by an inch, let's say, should get us closer to that six inches. In theory, I don't know, it's three dimensional geometry. I'm not actually sure what the ratio of is as you go towards the front of the sphere. The rate at, I mean, I guess it shrinks by what? Pi times radius or something like that as you move towards it, something like that. Yeah, pi times radius change or something, I don't know. So it may be a little bit tight. Right now we have way more than enough space, but at the same time, if you look at it compared to the under three, it kind of does look a little bit silly. Uh, yeah, it does look a little bit too big. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a nightmare to change in between 
the visor and these guys and the wings, all of that is going to want to break on me. But we will get it done and see what happens. And again, I'll do that off stream. No sense wasting time on stream with that. So, uh, shrink it down by an inch so it's not so massive. Save ourselves about a buck of plastic, in theory. And go from there. Yeah, finally get the legs done tomorrow. Uh, stream tomorrow? Well, definitely stream it tomorrow. I'm hesitant to do three of the same design stream in a row. I kind of want to mix it up a little bit. Uh, so maybe not this stream tomorrow. Maybe the stream on Thursday, Friday. Thursdays tend to be a little bit busy, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so that is the game plan moving forward. Control Z a whole bunch. Control Z. And I believe this is a good place to save. So, saved. And if you guys have been watching, thank you. Really appreciate it. Appreciate any comments and whatever, etc. Like buttons, etc. I normally don't say the like buttons and comments thing on this channel, but one of those things, uh, YouTubers. Yeah, I hear plenty of YouTubers, plenty of rather successful YouTubers, just kind of go, "Yeah, I know the like play, uh, the clickbait, and the ask for comments and likes." is annoying but at the same time literally the channel doesn't do anything or doesn't grow you know <laughs> unless you get that stuff the algorithm etc so while i'm hesitating and i normally don't ask for that kind of stuff i'll throw it out there today today can be special so anyway again thank you for watching if you have been and i hope you have a great and wonderful day afternoon or evening wherever you're in the world and i will catch you next time